There's no pond down there. It, it's just all dry. So we're gonna go put some more fuel in the pump. It ran for two or three hours yesterday. We've had it running for a couple hours today. And we usually have to put gas in it about every hour and a half or so. So we're gonna go out and put some gas in it. It's probably empty now because it's been over two hours. We're gonna go get it going again. Let's do it. Oh yeah, he did dry out. So hard to tell if it's gone down. I guess until it is. I guess until you see the silt coming, you know what I mean, like further down and further down. There's no pond down there. It's just all dry. There's no way to absorb that much water. I bet it's going down too there. You see the grass kind of laying down? Oh, I do. Yeah. yeah. All right. Is that the swatch watch? What time is it? 125. 125. We'll have to move move that thing down a little bit, probably next time or the time after. So then we're gonna have to bring the other hose, the other hose over. Okay. And you gotta change your shoes. Yeah. It's hot. So yesterday evening, while we were watching the water go down the last couple hours of the day, I brought the skid steer out here with the brush hog cleared some area, so I'm going to show Chrissy what I did. Also, I mowed all this down. But when I, there's a bunch of persimmon trees right here. That's why I didn't take those out is because the deer come and eat the persimmons off of them. There's only a couple of them that produce persimmons right now, but I didn't want to take them down. Thank you for leaving them. 
That's deer candy, Jeremy. Yep. Deer candy. Deer candy. Those rocks are humongo. Yeah. I swear this place grows rocks at night. Just poops them out of the earth every single day. So you can tell the water went down over here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, this is right there. We'll come back over here and go over it again and kind of chop this stuff up even better. You know what I mean? Yeah. It up a little bit more. Yeah. It's a horse fly. It's a horse fly. Oh, don't get stuck in that. Did you get stuck in here with the bobcat? Oh, I got a little, a little. Little what? Moist? Yeah. So the water, I think the over. Is this a berm right here? Ugh. I got him. I got him. I think the water honestly comes out and overflows over here and comes out and around when the when the pond gets too high it comes out like right somewhere in this area well that, where we just were was a, the lowest spot i've seen right but but that's kind of on a hill right there now we're going downhill so i think it because i've seen water run in the woods over there so i think it comes out like a trickle like a little brook or yeah, yeah. just like wet ground where no, it could have been like a dry river bed water running actually running but that was after a rain being how muddy this is. Yeah, it's, it's very wet. And it hasn't rained in a month. Those rocks are humongo. Huh. So here's a low lying area, kind of like a wetland that comes off the pond right there. I think. But there's persimmons. I think the water, you see that's high, so the water that runs into the pond. Yeah, that is higher. So it runs down the, down the yes. hill.
use your pole. from our pond. We knew it was going to come down here. Yep. <laughs> you see how much water is coming out, Bubby? for watching our adventure today. This is day two of draining the pond. We kept going back and forth, making sure that the gas was filled. In between, Preston was going and making sure that the pump was submerged and filled with gas. We did a little adventure riding around the property and trying to figure out where all that water goes. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little dingle bell so you're alerted every time we upload new content. And have a great night. Bye-bye.